Welcome back to my vlog, y'all. Everybody knows frames like... The Impulse RC Apex. Pretty popular frame. Or even the... Johnny FPV frame from... Oh, what the hell? Makes the Johnny FPV frame. Oh, Astro X. Duh, it's right there on the strap. Everyone, a lot of people are familiar with these frames. You may not be familiar with all the frames that you can get off of Armatin Productions, though. And what I have here is the Joker 5. Joker 5 inch from Power Loop Racing, which I'd never heard of, but every now and then I like to look through our Martin Productions 5 inch quads and see what's out there. And uh, this one caught my interest because it looked mostly because the pictures were very well done. A uh, good picture is worth a thousand words. This is all you get with it. You get uh, you get everything you need to build it. You get standoffs. You get screws. You get uh, the little uh, threaded inserts. So I'm going to put it together here so you can see what it looks like. And uh, I might transfer everything from my Johnny 5 to this quad just to see if it flies different. I've always had a lot of trouble with this frame for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I got Emu Flight on here. I probably should need to update it to the newer Emu Flight. Anyway, I think I'm just going to throw everything off this onto this frame because they're about the same exact size. It should fit. Shouldn't have to do any building. Because, well, I'm getting lazy in my old age. But I really like the pictures of this frame, and uh, let me put it together for you and see what it looks like. I want to say that's how it goes. Could be wrong. That looks right to me. Went together pretty easily. It's kind of similar to a Bolt RC. It's got the plate here in the middle instead of like two standoffs here. Eh, it seems pretty rigid. Let's see how much it weighs. Ninety-seven point one. That's not bad. It's pretty light. Anything under 100 grams in a top mount 5 inch is pretty decent. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's put some shit on it and fly it. Uh, one thing, uh, I, I don't know where to get a GoPro mount for this thing, but just so happens that the uh, mount for the Apex, where is the, where is the Apex mount? Eh. Well, I'm going to adapt a apex couch mount to the front of this because the width is the same and I'll just have to uh, Melt a couple of extra holes in it for the back. No big no big deal We'll make it we'll make it happen. Got to have that HD footage y'all All right, here she is Everything fit pretty well 342.8 grams, which is pretty freaking light for a 5 inch top mount quad. I am not going to keep this antenna on there because it sticks way out. I might, if I can get a uh, 90 degree uh, cherry antenna, then I might do it. But it, it is possible. Eh. It is possible to use the Apex uh, antenna mount on this frame. What I'm probably going to do is run this little True RC antenna. I notched the top plate, put a little notch with a file so I can stick it in here and I'll just zip tie it to this zip tie it to this plate down here. 
and we'll see how that does. If that doesn't work out, then I'll uh, probably go back to the cherry uh, antenna because I've had good luck with the way this mounts. Haven't broken one yet. Yeah, let's see how it flies. I modified an Apex couch mount. As you can see, the holes in the front line up perfect, but the back holes do not line up. So I could have either drilled a couple holes in the back here, or I just used my soldering iron and melted new holes for the standoffs and just put the screws right there. And that's gonna work fine. Uh, let's see what the all-up weight will be with this antenna, which is, it's gonna be lighter with the true RC antenna. Yeah, let's put a uh, let's put a Ovonix 1000 on here and a pretty much naked GoPro. 586.2 grams. That's pretty freaking light. Uh, my standard session that I run with the case and an ND filter. Am I touching something? How did I lose so much weight? There we go. It's sitting right on the scale there. 607 with the, yeah, that sounds more like it. 607 with the um, GoPro with the ND filter and the TPU case. And with a naked GoPro, yeah, 586. 586, that's pretty light. Impressive. I like this little flint frame. It's uh, shorter than... is shorter than the Astro X Johnny FPV and the arms are actually a little thicker than the Johnny FPV frame but the overall motor to motor is exactly the same very nice frame for 54 bucks all the the arms are all chamfered and the all the cuts were perfect on it you get a lot for your uh, your money with this little frame. Uh, if I was building this from scratch, I would have had done the uh, VTX. You know, I would have done my pigtail a little different, and the VTX would have been slid back further. You got lots of room to mount stuff to this uh, vertical plate, but I was just swapping parts, so I had to do what I had to do. And I ran my VT or my. Uh, Receiver antennas on the back like that, which I I like. Uh, or if I can't do that, I'll put them in the front, right behind the GoPro. Yeah, let's see how it flies. As you can see, the Johnny FPV frame even missing three standoffs. It's missing three standoffs and the side the vertical plates is already a hundred and almost 101 grams uh i don't know why this is so heavy i mean there's not a lot to it compared to this frame but this frame weighed uh, what 92 grams with everything god yeah we'll see see how see how long this uh how this stands up to my flying and crashing all right. All right. I put the True RC antenna on here. Let's see how much it weighs. Three thirty-nine point one. Yeah. So uh, I saved a few grams by getting rid of the TPU mount and the um, Cherry antenna. Turn my autofocus back on here. Saved a few grams. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna run it like that because you got no real protection back here for the little VTX, the MMCX. I try to put a uh, TPU mount back here and it'll act as a bumper. We'll see how that does, yeah. If you're looking for a light, 
a lightweight frame, top mount, alien-ish, apex-ish, the Joker 5 might be for you. 582.3 grams. That is by far the lightest um, five inch top mount that I've that I've built. I mean, I didn't really build it, I just swapped it over, but it's the lightest frame I've, uh, I've used. Lighter than an Apex, lighter than the Johnny FBB frame. Yeah, pretty lightweight. Oh look, dropped 0.1 grams, 339. That's with the props, everything. Three straps, jeez. Let's see if it flies. <sighs> Thank you.